Okay guys, this bug has to be talked about. Not only is this a huge bug gameplay wise, but this is also a huge problem for Arena as a competitive game. So I didn't see this before, but when I was reading the Magic Arena Reddit today, I came over this little post. It described a bug. I've seen all of this before and it has never been a real issue. Basically just complaining. But this one caught my attention a little bit. So the poster, which is not the one in the Twitch video. So there's a Twitch video with a link here. Uh, and he's complaining about bot usage or bot slash bug usage. And this is quite an interesting bug. And the scary thing is that it is not hard to activate at all. So let's go over and take a look on this. So the streamer here is playing normally, he's playing a Lotus Cobra deck and making a lot of mana. So far there are no issues at all. The problem starts when Ozone, his opponent, is starting to lose. He starts to manipulate the game and prevent Preddy here from doing anything at all. It starts very soon, let me skip a little bit here. So as soon as he plays his second Cobra, his opponent understands that he is going to lose. So he starts cheating. And the way he does this is basically just hovering his lands all the time. You can see this uh, pattern he's doing when hovering the lands like this. And he starts spamming that motion and it's probably a bot. He might be doing this by hand, but I find it unlikely. This is very easy to do with uh, a mouse recorder software. The mouse recorder software can just capture a movement, basically capture this movement back and forth all the time. Uh, it can also simulate positions of the mouse, like hundreds of times, making this effect. So there's no like super special software here, there's no manipulating packets or something. It's just exploiting a bug in the client itself. So every time he does this, hover, hovers a land or hovers a card, it will show this little highlight. And this will be sent to the server at Wizards and it will send, be sent back to Predi. And Predi's problem is that he can't do anything at all. He just have to wait for timeouts. He does get some actions through, uh, but a little bit later you'll see that the opponent will attack and he will not be able to declare any blockers. And here his timeout starts running because he's spamming these actions all the time and Predi's client has to take in all of these events and it's not able to send anything. And this is, this is just in Platinum in Ranked. So there's nothing at stake here, but can you imagine if someone does this in the Mythic Imitational? Like for the qualifier, you can just spam this all the time and nothing can be done. This is a huge issue and it needs to be addressed by Wizards like immediately. Huge problem for a client. Also in game modes like Limited, where, where you pay a lot and you pay for the cards, people have been saying in the Reddit thread that they've experienced this in Limited and that's a huge problem too. Like, it is a bit annoying in Ranked, and uh, it really shows how simple some people are, and do everything to win. And th this will always be the case, so... The error here is on the client itself. I was never a fan of the highlighting of lands, so this will probably happen if you have crew. You can just spam highlighting creatures. I also think that even if you fix highlighting, uh, it might be an issue if tapping really quick. Like, you can't tap really quick in the game client itself, but you can probably send an action, like simulate an action. Maybe software like Wireshark, where you can send events or manipulate packets as you want. So even if they fix this locally with you not being able to hover, they need to fix it permanently, like you can't spam actions. And I'm a little bit surprised that this isn't a thing already, like there is some kind of protection in the client from before. Since this seems like a basic thing that you should protect from anyway, like this exploit is really simple because you can see what happens, but the moment you don't see what happens and the opponent just spams actions that doesn't make anything happen here, it is way harder to detect. And that's why we really need to get this problem fixed. So for all of you who are watching this, please let Wizards know of this, send the feedback, link to this video, link to the Reddit post, I will post the link to the Reddit post down below. They really need to fix this, especially now that probably everyone know about this, and it's not hard to replicate. You can probably do this with some simple mouse software. I have not tried this out myself, I'm not really interested, I don't have time to try it out and experiment with. Like I could get some buddies together and try this out in a PvP match, just to see what happens and document it. Uh, but what I do know is that I think, well, 
I'm not sure, but I think hovering cards triggers an event in your log. So it might be the case, uh, but I'm not sure with Predi here. Predi doesn't seem to be using any uh, game extensions. So I, I am going to assume that he doesn't have detailed logging on in his client. So it probably doesn't ha make any difference if you have this log on or off the event. You still receive the events, uh, but... Uh, not having the detail logs on might prevent it a little bit. I do not know if it is also the case if the number of lands matter, like can you trigger this bug if there's only two lands? Maybe not. That might also be a case, but you can probably trigger it by both hovering lands, entering the graveyard, like watching the opponent's library, hovering your own lands. And it doesn't really matter if this is bugged when you play. Like, if you are the exploiter, it doesn't matter if your client freezes because you do it in your opponent's turn. So the whole thing freezes when it's his turn and he times out, and you just turn it off when it's your turn. So let's get more eyes on this. I think the only way to fix this issue is that more people know, it, know of it and more of you spam wizards. I have already registered a case and reported it, and you should do so yourself. And I hope that with my next video we can discuss something else. I really want to talk about our deck tracker and our new functions. But crap like this keeps popping up all the time. So let's get this out of the way and move on. See you in the next video.